Pluto is a quieter, farther away planet that once belonged to our exclusive planetary gathering. However, the shocking revelations made by leading astrophysicists Midiaku and Neil deGrasse Tyson have brought Pluto back into the spotlight. They suggested that this icy world might be on a collision course with Neptune. But how should this actually function? And what might happen as a result of such a massive event? Are we seeing a beguiling and estimable peculiarity? Or is there something else to this approaching perpetual mishap? Join us as we inspect the probable consequences of a Pluto-Neptune collision. In the vast universe, Pluto, a former planet that was later reclassified as a dwarf planet, continues to be a topic of interest and focus. Experts' ongoing estimates indicate that Pluto's orbit is dangerously close to Neptune's. Astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michoku are both raising the alarm about a potential hazardous impact between these two planets, which could pose a huge risk to Earth. But how is such an event even conceivable? Pluto's journey around, the Sun is not like that of any other planet in our nearby planetary group. It requires a stunning 248 years to complete a single orbit. Since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even completed one full revolution. The interest, however, does not end there. Pluto's orbit is marked by its unusually elliptical shape, meandering widely from the almost round orbits of the major planets. What makes Pluto's orbit even more exceptional is its inclination, which is tilted at 17 degrees into the ecliptic plane. When compared to other planets, Pluto's path is significantly more extreme. This inclination and eccentricity add layers of complexity to its orbital plan. One of the most interesting aspects of Pluto's orbit is its intersection with Neptune's, contrary to what might be expected given their positions in the planetary system. Pluto actually comes closer to the Sun than Neptune for about 20 years in each orbit. Naturally, this raises the question of why Pluto hasn't collided with Neptune, the answer lies in the effects of other planets' gravitational pull. Soon after Pluto's discovery, research into its orbit began. Astronomers initially attempted to determine its unique path. Pluto's orbit stands out because of its steep inclination and elliptical shape, in contrast to those of other planets, whose orbits are relatively close to the ecliptic plane. The mystery deepened with the realization that Pluto's orbit does. Cross Neptunes. The complexity of celestial mechanics is demonstrated by the stability of Pluto's orbit in the face of these difficulties. The three-body problem in space involves determining how three objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, move and influence each other with their gravity. It's like trying to predict where they will go based on where they started and how they pull on each other. In Pluto's case, this problem shows how its orbit Neptune's orbit and the Sun's gravity all work together in an intricate manner. The terms non-synchronous vibration and orbital precession, along with the VZK oscillation, are important for this puzzle. According to astrophysicists, what keeps all planets in their orbits is non-synchronous vibration. This means that when Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is approximately 90 degrees away from Neptune. This is true for both Pluto and Neptune. This spatial separation is crucial in preventing their orbits from merging. Orbital precession, on the other hand, refers to the vertical movement of a body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune or any other giant planet, it is positioned far above their orbital plane, offering an additional layer of protection from potential collisions. Another key factor in this situation is the VZK oscillation, named after three researchers, Zell, Kai, and another, who studied how objects move in space. It involves the way three space objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, pull on each other with their gravity. Their movement is influenced by this pull of gravitation. In Pluto's case, the VZK oscillation helps us understand why its orbit close to the Sun is so irregular. Despite Pluto's path appearing whimsical, this oscillation helps keep it moving smoothly over long periods. The VZK oscillation demonstrates that, although things in space may seem turbulent and unpredictable, 
Certain patterns and rules keep everything in balance. These factors help keep Pluto's orbit stable, ensuring that it doesn't crash into Neptune or drift off course. To comprehend how the pull of space objects on each other changes these orbits, this three-body problem is essential. We can learn more about Pluto, our own planetary system, and even distant worlds and their stars by studying this. In the late 1980s, mathematical simulations showed that Pluto's orbit is actually unstable, with small changes in starting conditions causing huge differences over thousands of years. However, it has been demonstrated that these peculiarities in Pluto's orbit remain stable over extremely extended timescales. Monitoring this disruption has been crucial. Later, automatic examinations have helped us understand how giant planets, like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn, affect Pluto's orbit around the Sun. Neptune has a special relationship with Pluto, where for every two orbits Pluto completes around the Sun, Neptune completes three. Pluto's orbit remains stable as a result of this relationship. However, Neptune isn't the only planet at play. The gravity of Jupiter also significantly contributes to the stability of Pluto's orbit. Saturn also plays a role. These studies demonstrate that Pluto follows a consistent path for an extended period thanks to Jupiter's enormous gravity. So perhaps Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are working together to ensure Pluto continues to move safely through space without running into trouble. These peculiarities are essential in maintaining order and stability in space. Without these elements, the solar system as we know it would be a much more chaotic place. Bodies like Pluto could crash into others or be ejected from their orbits, triggering a chain reaction with other celestial bodies. For Pluto, especially with discussions about it possibly crashing into Neptune in the future, understanding its orbit is crucial the solar system's dynamic nature becomes more apparent as a result of this. The case of Pluto shows how even the most seemingly unstable orbits can reach a state of harmony through the complex interaction of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also highlights the importance of continuous observation and investigation of these phenomena to better understand our place in the universe. Space exploration frequently brings us face to face with the strange properties of celestial bodies. Moreover, Pluto's orbit is an ideal example of the unpredictability of orbital chaos, which refers to the sensitive dependence of a celestial body's orbit on its initial conditions. Pluto's case clearly demonstrates this. This means that even slight changes in the dwarf planet's position or speed can significantly alter its long-term orbit. Using computer simulations has been immensely helpful for scientists in figuring out how Pluto moves in space. These simulations use complex mathematics to model how Pluto and other space objects like Neptune pull on one another. Space researchers are able to observe how even seemingly insignificant adjustments in the simulations can have a significant impact on Pluto's final location. In the late 1980s, these simulations showed something intriguing about Pluto's orbit. Despite having features like non-synchronous vibration and orbital precession to keep it stable, Pluto's orbit can still be erratic and unpredictable. If you start with even a tiny difference in where Pluto is or how fast it's moving, its orbit could end up looking completely different after just a few years. But even with this chaos, Pluto's orbit remains stable over very long periods, like billions of years. This essentially means that Pluto's journey around the Sun has a sort of order to it. Even though it seems chaotic at first, Predicting celestial events, especially when they involve erratic orbits like Pluto's, is a huge challenge. Long-term forecasts often contain uncertainties due to these systems' inherent unpredictability. While mathematical models are effective instruments for comprehending and predicting the upcoming paths taken by celestial bodies, they also highlight our predictive capabilities' limitations. These models depend heavily on the accuracy of initial conditions. Furthermore, it can be difficult to make accurate predictions due to the fact that even the smallest error or distortion can result in very different outcomes. Moreover, the chaotic nature of planetary orbits like Pluto's reminds us of the ever-changing, dynamic nature of the universe. While we've made huge strides in understanding space, 
Pluto's case reminds us how much our knowledge of the universe still remains limited. Understanding the gravitational effects of the giant planets on Pluto's orbit provides valuable insights into the broader dynamics of the solar system. It shows how the presence and position of each planet can significantly affect the stability and trajectory of other bodies within the system. So, why, despite all of these complicated forces working to prevent such an event, have prominent astrophysicists recently expressed concern about a possible collision between Pluto and Neptune? A well-known astrophysicist and important proponent of cosmology, Neil deGrasse Tyson, provides a unique perspective on the mysteries of our solar system, particularly the intriguing case of Pluto. Tyson, known for his role in renaming Pluto from a planet to a dwarf planet, provides insightful views on the evolving nature of celestial mechanics and the public's interest in the neglected realms of space. The ever-expanding knowledge of our solar system informs Tyson's position regarding the renaming of Pluto. He sees the renaming not as a diminishment, but as an important adjustment in alignment with our growing understanding of the many bodies orbiting our sun. Tyson's approach to celestial mechanics is one of continuous learning and change. He views the complexities of orbits like Pluto's as a sign of how much there is still to discover in space. The fascination with these questions keeps space exploration so captivating. However, despite Tyson's confidence, his thoughts on Pluto's potential impact with Neptune paint a different picture. His concerns about the future of Pluto's orbits suggest that there might still be some more secrets to uncover. Will Pluto collide with Neptune? Or is this just another moment of confusion in the constantly changing universe of space? Only time, and further investigation will tell. For now, we are left with a deeper curiosity about how little we still know about our own solar system. In the hope of figuring out more of the mysteries that lie beyond, we keep studying these celestial phenomena. The possibility of a Pluto-Neptune collision raises yet another question about the enigmatic and captivating universe in which we exist. The potential for a collision between Pluto and Neptune raises fascinating issues about the dynamics of the solar system as it challenges traditional understandings of planetary stability. The idea that two celestial bodies with such incomprehensibly different properties could collide is both unsettling and intriguing, especially considering the current relative strength of their orbits. Given that Pluto is located in the outer reaches of the solar system, far from the major planets, and Neptune is itself a gas giant with a strong gravitational field. The implications of such a collision would be enormous for our understanding of gravitational interactions and the evolution of the solar system. To understand the dynamics of a potential impact, one must first consider the structure and properties of the two planets. Pluto, despite being a dwarf planet, contains a variety of elements and compounds believed to exist in a frozen state due to the extreme cold of the outer solar system. Its surface is covered in nitrogen ice, and it has an atmosphere made mostly of nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide. In contrast, Neptune, a massive gas planet, is primarily composed of hydrogen, helium, and other lighter elements with a deep, dense atmosphere. A collision between such disparate bodies would drastically affect their structure and behavior, potentially creating an event visible across vast distances. What makes this hypothetical impact particularly captivating is the influence of other planets and bodies in the solar system. While Neptune's gravity plays a dominant role in keeping Pluto's orbit stable, it is not the only factor at play. The presence of Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system, is another key element. Jupiter's enormous mass, powerful gravitational field, and gravitational pull provide a stabilizing effect on Pluto's orbit, preventing it from straying too far into Neptune's domain. The dynamics of the outer solar system are further complicated by Saturn's gravitational pull, making it unlikely that a catastrophic event will occur between Pluto and Neptune. 